Okay, welcome everyone um, to another video. I'm just going to show you how to compile and run um, in Vim. So this will work with any uh, any language. Obviously, you're just going to have to change the command up a bit because we're using G++ compiler. Because the example I'm going to show you is with C++. So yeah. So I'll just run through the command and then I'll show you an example. So I've just mapped uh, my leader key with CP. So when I execute that, the command will execute. Uh, but you can do that whatever you want, of course. Anyway, we're going to escape to make sure we're in normal mode. And then run a command called term, which basically allows you to enter terminal commands in terminal mode in Vim. And this will only work with MVim without plugins. So if you're using Vim, number one, use MVim. Number two, get a plugin that can, uh, you know, run term. Anyway, next we're going to run a G++ compiler because C++ example, like later. This will, uh, like earlier, this will um, vary between if you use a comp compiled language or interpreted language. Um, but you just have to change the command up a bit anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Next, we're going to optimize the output because when you're doing computer programming, obviously, you want to optimize the output to save time. And any this, this will get a bit tricky if you're in a GitHub repo or if you have multiple C++ files because this will compile any file ending with .c++. And, but you shouldn't have multiple files anyway if you're doing competitive programming, like in a, fo in a folder, unless you're in a GitHub repo or something like, something like that. But if you do, you can just, you know, put it to a register and edit it that way, or you can edit it, like, hard code it in if you really want. Anyway, we're going to output it to a file called output and then run that. In NeoVim, you can, um, when you out, when you run, when you run a... Th any anything really yeah when you run anything it will output it or it will run it I guess output to into NeoVim I'll show you you'll kind of get to see an example later and we're going to run that command and then run a norm command which basically um, allows you to enter key presses so for example this is basically like just pressing I because we want it fully automated because it's great anyway we're going to run that no, that's great so now an example we are just going to so this obviously we'll just enter test cases and then return the sum of two two integers so one test case and then this should equal to uh, three sorry yeah exactly so it's great and obviously obviously as you can see i'm entering that and we've got the norm i which if, if you don't enter this, you'll be in this, and you wouldn't be able to type anything. You'll be in normal mode, so press I if you're in this mode, but, you know, we can just automate it. And, yeah, obviously this works for anything. It's exactly the same. And this also outputs warnings and everything like that. So it, you're not at a disadvantage or anything. And it's even better because it's in Vim, Vim. So, like, if I was to, like... You know, I can use, I can do all Vim commands, or Vim inputs and stuff. So it's, I know, it's really good. Um, yeah. 